Hi, hello, my name is Kiran Kumar. I am your physics lecturer. Today's topic is deviation of white light through the prism without dispersion. For this, using two prisms, one is crown glass prism and another one is flint glass prism. With the help of proper arrangement, we will get light without dispersion. So white light enter into the prism and white light only releases. Try to understand. Welcome to my channel Nature of Physics and Art. Before going to this video, please watch my previous videos. Now considering two prism one is crown glass a is the angle of prism and mu is the refractive index and a dash is the angle of prism and mu dash is the refractive index of the prism now with proper adjustment of the crown glass and flint glass we will get without dispersion with deviation only say white light enter into the crown glass it slip into its component colors that is vip gr try to understand after that the light travel from the crown glass to flint glass then here red color is top and violet color is bottom and this converge the vip gr and release as a white light only okay so now we can write here deviation is there but dispersion is not there that's why del a is not equal to zero theta is equal to zero del is equal to deviation theta is the angular dispersion here theta value is equal to zero and del a is not equal to zero see according to this here theta which is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 this is the total dispersion formula so this is total dispersion in which theta is equal to 0 now we can write here theta 1 plus theta 2 which is equal to 0 because of theta is equal to 0 the reason is theta which is equal to del v minus del r into a here theta is equal to 0 we can write that is del v which is equal to del r there is no deviation so here violet color overlapping with a red color all colors combined here in vip gr and release as a white light from the flint glass okay see now here theta formula is mu v minus mu r into a plus theta 2 value is mu v dash minus mu r dash into a dash this is for the first prism and this is for the second prism this is crown glass prism and this is the flint glass prism which is equal to zero okay now here we want to write a for this a dash which is equal to minus mu v minus mu r into a whole divided by mu v dash minus mu r dash see a dash is the angle of prism of the flint glass this is taken as equation one from this equation try to understand and again i'm using this equation here that is mu v minus mu r into a multiplying and dividing with uh, mu lo minus 1 divided by mu lo minus 1 uh, result is these two values are get cancelled result is same plus and remaining value is mu v dash minus mu r dash into a dash into 
mu y l o okay minus 1 divided by mu l o dash minus 1 see here this value this value get cancelled remaining is same only okay see now the basic formula we know very well here angle of deviation del which is equal to a of mu minus 1 and second equation that is dispersion power omega is equal to omega v minus omega r into uh, whole divided by mu l o minus 1 these two formulas already completed proof in the previous video now these two values are replacing here we will get here a into mu y minus 1 that give the deviation so that is del and here mu v minus mu r divided by mu minus 1 that give the omega Try to understand here which is equal to 0 okay and remaining value this is a dash mu y dash minus 1 that give the the value is del dash for the second flint glass prism deviation angle and this value give what is that a dispersion omega dash which is equal to 0 Now, total deviation due to the crown glass prism and flint glass prism for the deviation of light without dispersion. The total deviation del which is equal to del 1 and del 2. See, del is equal del 1 plus del 2. Here, del is the deviation that is equal to a into mu minus 1 and omega is the dispersion power okay that is mu v minus mu r divided by mu l o minus 1 here v is the violet r is the red and l o y is the yellow color okay see for the total deviation the value del which is equal to del 1 is for the first crown glass prism that is a of uh, mu minus 1 and plus for del 2 for the flint glass prism that is a dash uh, mu dash minus 1 here we can take mean deviation is yellow color try to understand now here we are going to write a dash value already we got a dash value that is a dash which is equal to minus of mu v minus mu r into a divided by mu v dash minus uh, mu r dash just now completed this value this value is replacing here then del which is equal to a into uh, mu y minus 1 plus a dash value is here minus mu v minus mu r into a divided by mu v dash minus mu r dash into the remaining value a is here mu l o dash minus 1 okay so now from this equation i am taking common value is a into mu l o minus 1 okay see now del which is equal to a of mu y minus 1 is common then 1 here minus into plus is minus this value is mu v uh, mu r into a is common here divided by this value is mu y minus 1 okay into this common this value is here mu v dash minus mu r dash and this value i am writing here this is 
mu y dash minus 1 try to understand this steps okay see I'm writing like this okay just modifying the equation we got this okay so here mu v minus mu r divided by mu l o minus 1 is omega okay and remaining value give what is that omega dash so now i'm going to write here del which is equal to a into mu y minus 1 into 1 minus this value is omega divided by omega dash okay see again i'm writing this equation here that is a into mu y minus 1 is considered as deviation angle for the crown glass prism that's why taking here total deviation which is equal to del 1 okay into 1 minus omega divided by omega dash here omega is the dispersion power power of the crown glass and omega dash is the dispersion power of the flint glass please try to understand here total deviation considering that is del 1 plus del 2 and del 1 value del 2 values i wrote and here a into mu y minus 1 is common and rearranging the equation we got here this value is dispersion power of the crown glass and this value is dispersion power of the flint glass and a into mu y minus 1 is a deviation of the crown glass that is taken as here del 1 okay so here del is equal to del 1 into 1 minus omega divided by omega dash please copy this. now net deviation when light passing through from the crown glass to flint glass net deviation is between the deviation of crown glass to the flint glass here crown glass all properties are positive and in flint glass all properties nothing but a dash and angular dispersion and deviation is negative because of with respect to crown glass the flint glass in opposite directions see the deviation angle here positive for the crown glass here deviation angle is negative for the flint glass because of here ready stop here violet is bottom in the flint glass here ready stop and violet is bottom that's why here minus del 2 is taken for the flint glass try to understand now del which is equal to that is del value which is a into mu l o minus 1 for the first and second is a dash flint glass mu y dash minus 1 okay so this is the net deviation for the okay achromatic prism that is here del which is equal to the values i'm going to write that is a into mu y minus 1 divided by mu v minus mu r into mu v minus mu r this value this value is get cancelled result is same only okay see plus sorry here minus that is a dash into mu y dash minus 1 okay multiplying and dividing with mu v dash minus mu r dash divided by mu v dash minus mu r dash this value both get cancelled here also then result is same okay see now from this equation del which is equal to this is uh, rearranging the equation mu v minus mu r into a divided by mu v minus mu r whole divided by mu y minus 1 and minus here mu v dash minus mu r dash into a dash whole divided by okay uh, mu v dash minus mu r dash divided by mu l o dash 
minus 1 rearranging the equation see now here we will get the formulas that is a dispersion and theta value theta is what is that here basic equation that is equal to mu v minus mu r into a mu v minus mu r into a see here we can write mu v minus mu r into a, a is taken as theta okay divided by mu v minus mu r divided by mu l o minus 1 is taken as dispersion power omega okay and continuation this value is taken as minus theta dash divided by and this denominator value is taken as omega dash this is the values for the net deviation when deviation without dispersion of the light with proper adjustment thank you